Good morning, Plaza Tigers. I'm Allie on the Champions. And I'm Taylor on the Champions. Today is Friday, January 14th, and it's a red day. Now let's dip on over, over to, to the, the pledge. pledge. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Morsine Kennedy. What's that sound? That's my stomach. I'm already so hungry. What's for lunch? Today for lunch we have a mini corn we have we have mini corn dogs and a premium is pasta bar and spicy chicken sandwich. For sides we have French fries, roasted buttermilk squash, fruit cocktail, and tossed salad. Sounds bussin. Now let's push it on over to the shoddies with Andy and Lauren. Okay, so right now it's 36 degrees and there's a low precipitation, but later tonight that might change. And right now it's cloudy. Now, looking onto this week, we can see it's going to be all cumulonimbus clouds with the storm system coming up right here. You can see there's going to be some rain and snow. We'll get to that later. And there's going to be a lot of snow on Saturday. And then moving on to the very end of the week, you're going to see these high 20s and or high 30s and low 20s. So bundle up, it's going to get cold. <laughs> Moving on to the radar, as I just talked about, there's going to be a really bad storm system with two energies moving from north and west down to Kansas City. So today, you're going to see rain from 12 to 6, and then that rain and snow is going to mix up here on the western Missouri border, and it's going to move down to Kansas City, making snow from 6 to midnight. So bundle up and turn that heat on up. And um, happy birthday to Miss Worsler. Hope you're There's no student birthdays. That's sad. The shawty of today is no one. No name, no team, no picture, no... Just, just no one. No one. You're nobody. No. Your disappointment. But if you want to not be nobody, go and email us at s54344 and a bunch of gibberish that you get really mad at every time you have to type it in. And include your name, picture, height, and team to be on the screen tomorrow, so we don't have to introduce another nobody. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks, Andy and Lauren. Now time for announcements. The boys and girls teams traveled to Congress last night, and if you weren't there, you missed out. It was like a zoo last night. The boys and girls took three out of four games and came up with two points short of a clean sweep. The only loss the lady, the Plaza Lady Tigers B team has had has had came earlier in the season to the Congress Lady Cougars, but the Lady Tigers got some revenge last night. They beat the Lady Cougars twenty one to thirteen with a balanced all around attack. The Lady Tigers took a slim one point lead into half, but turned it on in the second half, outscoring the Lady Cougars twelve to five. The Lady Tigers were in lead it were led in scoring with Malia McClure, six points. Caroline Kerber Shag was a pest all night, collecting seven steals. And Sid the Kid Hendricks dished out three dimes. And Ida the Dominator Say pulled in five rebounds. Great win, girls. The Plaza Lady, <laughs> the Plaza Lady Tigers A team completed the sweep of the Lady, Ti Lady Cougars by winning a tough game, 31-21. to The first three quarters were a back-and-forth battle. Just when the Lady Tigers looked like they were going to pull ahead, the Lady Cougars would hit a big shot. The Lady Tigers took a slim two-point lead into the fourth, but big shots by Mandy Abak and Adip thompson Akoy, along with some timely defense and stops, sealed the deal. The Lady Tigers were led by Taylor Findog Finney's all-around game of 14 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 assists. Mandy Abak added 5 points, 4 boards, and 2 steals. Lauren Big Body Stevens chipped in with 4 points, 4 steals, and 3 boards. Congrats, girls. What a great win. 
The, boy, the B-Boys played really well and led most of the game, but came up just a bit short, losing 30-28. to 28. The junkyard dog DJ Bronson led the team with 10 points and 7 boards, while Lord Hayes Pratt chipped in with 9 points and 5 boards. The boys shared the ball and played really well. They just couldn't quite finish the game. The A-team handled their business, winning 45-32 to and captured our school's first district title, as they have now defeated all the schools in our district. Donovan Big, oh my gosh. Donovan Big Daddy Fonville held it down early scoring 15 points and pulling down 10 boards. Nick Huckabee chipped in 6 points and had 10 boards. The game was pretty close down the stretch with a point with point guard Isaiah Caston decided to take over. Sorry, this. We're having technical difficulties. difficulties. Uh. Isaiah Caston decided to take over. Caston finished with 21 points, 5 assists, and 7 rebounds as he helped with all with his all-team victory. Xavier Smith hit a big three-point shot with three minutes to go, and that pretty much sealed the deal. Great work, guys, and thanks to all the fans that came out and supported. Plaza won the hill. And to finish it off, let's watch a short video. And for, and for now, now, goodbye, Plaza. Have a fantastic Friday. Friday.